Hello fellow hunters, welcome to the channel and today's video. It's been a while now since I completed all mature legendary trophies and passed the mark of 1.6 million credits. The next large goal was not too far away anymore, so I decided to take the final steps. Over the last few weeks I made it to 1.7, 1.8, 1.9 and finally 2 million credits. To make the grind as efficient as possible I focused mainly on moose and bears in Roosevelt Forest. I would also recommend this routine to new players who own the Bear Hunter edition of the game that includes weapons, clothing and unlimited licenses for all the bear species. You need a large caliber rifle, a moose and predator caller and a moose license. You should also unlock all the tents on the map for fast traveling. Everything I show in this video happens in the morning time slot. When entering the map we try the moose caller at the main cabin. Quite often the first moose comes to meet you here for some easy cash. Like this massive legendary one that weighs 616 kilos. It is my heaviest legendary moose so far and a replacement for the existing trophy in the lodge. If we don't find anything, we fast travel to the northeastern camp. This is our next spot to frequently encounter a moose. I often found them in the hills next to the tent. The third hotspot for moose in Roosevelt Forest is around the southern tent. Sometimes you can find them right next to the camp or you have to walk a bit to the north from the starting point. In most cases the area is very rewarding. Let's say that we found no animals in these locations. That does not mean that we have to leave the map empty handed. Here the unlimited license from the bear hunter pack comes into play. In the area around the northwestern camp several black bears can often be found. In the forest across the river or on the backside of the hill I frequently spotted several bears. The amount of credits is lower than for a moose, but with the Bear Hunter edition you don't have to buy a new license and you can hunt more bears in one map. This is also useful for the last spot in my routine. We start at the eastern camp and head to the south. Here you will find often grizzlies as well as whitetail deer, with a little luck even two bears at the same time. In a good round I found one or two black bears and grizzlies in addition to a moose. You can do the math on what it means for the amount of credits you get.
So I would recommend to every new player selecting the unlimited license for Moose in Colorado after the tutorial and buying the Bear Hunter Pack DLC. After some practice in Pawnee Meadows to learn the basics and to collect some credits for the callers, go to Roosevelt Forest and you can easily collect a good amount of cash for your future equipment and licenses. I unfortunately picked the wrong license after the tutorial back then. So I have to buy a new license in the hunting lodge after every moose, which reduces my profit a bit. To the end of the video I would like to take you on an updated lodge tour. Compared to the last tour before the Ranger's Life DLC, I upgraded many trophies and the hunting lodge is fully decorated. In the comments below my last videos I got ideas what else I could show about the game. At this point, thank you for your feedback, I will try to include it in upcoming releases. And that brings us to the end of today's video. For questions and feedback leave me a comment below. If you enjoyed today's video, please leave me a like and subscribe. Thank you for your support.